Namaste. Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. And today we're going to be doing a lovely video about Biramo Ramji Ambekar. So there's been a lot of requests that you guys have asked us to do something on him. And so I'm, I looked him up on Wikipedia. Um, my husband obviously knew who he was. Yeah. But we are learning. And so... It says he's an Indian economic politician, social reformer who inspired the Dalit Buddhist movement and campaigned against social discrimination towards untouchables. Um, he was also India's first minister of law and justice. So obviously a big man. And yeah. uh, I've also heard many things that he should be the one a lot of people believe he should be the one called the father of india because he's done so much um for the people of india so we're gonna watch it's actually from Sadhguru, mm -hmm. and it's uh a short clip a little bit about him on his jayanti um so we're gonna start this one up bimrav ramji ambedkar he's a visionary leader who brought dignity and rights to the most oppressed classes of people in India. Oppression, unleashed upon Dalits for centuries, was brought to fore and at least in law, equality was reinstated. Though the social situation needs much reform, he is a stellar example of showing that brilliance needs no pedigree. We owe the privilege of democratic existence to this intellectual giant, a man of great vision and compassion, said, democracy is not merely a form of government, but an attitude of respect and reverence to fellow human beings. Though we are a political democracy, we are not entirely democratic as a society, and hence Ambedkar's dream and vision of creating a social democracy remains unfulfilled. It is the responsibility of our generation to create a society where the privileges of pedigree are replaced by individual performance and competence. All humans are equal by birth. B. R. Ambedkar, a remarkable man who gave a shape and form to our aspirations of nationhood. On this day, we bow to him. This was amazing and he seems like such a good person for the people and an amazing person and I'm surprised we don't learn about him in school like we should know as much as we know about him as Gandhi and we don't we don't learn about these people in school and we should right yeah you would think we would learn a lot more about him yeah. um, since he was the chief architect of the Constitution of India um, it played a huge role. He had one of India's highest civilians award. He did a lot politically, um, not only helping draft um, India's constitution to give wide range of civil liberties for individual citizens, include freedom, freedom of religion, a abolition of untouchability and the outlaw of all forms of discrimination so that's huge like yeah um we know uh you know we've being on this channel we've learned a lot about the caste system and um i've heard many times about untouchables um so it's nice to see that he tried you know in a way to put it into law that 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 kind of discrimination wasn't okay but even in Sadhguru's, you know, he's, he talks, we watched another video, um, and he talked like, it's still not perfect. Some of the stuff is still going on. Um, you know, he, he had a lot of good ideas, like giving, um, you know, people some reservations that had these untouchable castes, that had these lower castes, so that they could get better jobs, so that they could move up in society. Um, and I think back then it helped 
you know, but now I think things need to change and get better. It needs to adjust more to today's society. Yeah. So that people aren't dependent, you know, if you, like Sadhguru said, everybody's born the same way. So unless you have a physical handicap or mental handicap that makes you unable to do well, you should be able to perform at the best you can. You go to school and you do the best that you can. If education is your passion, you know, you want to be a doctor, you want to be an engineer, then then you should push yourself and the best of the best should get in. But if, you know, you want to be a carpenter or you want to make clothing or you want to, there should be something where you can go and do what is what you are good at and there shouldn't be, you know, set places for you know only this many people get into this college or this these many people get this job because if you're not good at that job you're going to sit there and not really know what you're doing yeah you know you want people that are qualified yes we would love all the systems even here the system is not perfect i don't think the school system will ever be where everybody gets kind of an equal opportunities um but I don't know if we want it to be exactly equal, but yeah. you want everybody to have a fighting chance and then work your butt off for the top jobs. If that's what you want to do, if if you're really good at, you know, math and you're going to be an engineer, then you get into those schools, you work your butt off to get into those schools. That's what you do. Um nowadays there shouldn't be quite so many of those reservations the people that needed them back then have kind of moved on up. And so if we can make sure that we are colorblind and caste blind and um, religion blind and look at people for what they are good at and give them jobs or give them education based on how good they are, that is kind of what matters. You know, he had really great ideas and and but I feel like like Sadhguru said there's still a lot for us to learn and grow and even here there's needs to be some blindness for for jobs and education like you need to not look at somebody's name color appearance appearance a religion anything and say, woman man and say matter. oh they're this oh they're that or i'm gonna hire them because they're this or not hire them because they're that oh i have to hire five of those people but i don't i can't hire this person you know it should be based on your qualifications yeah and but everybody should have a fighting chance everybody should have the opportunity to go to decent schools you know and go and study what you love your passion um anyways got off on that um he opposed article 370 when it came out so we know that it was removed mm -hmm. article 370 and obviously he felt like we do that it should have probably never gone into effect um and that he opposed it from the very beginning and then decided that he didn't want to participate on other articles because they went around him and had it signed and passed anyways um but now hopefully he's happy because it's no longer in effect yeah. um another thing he did was support uniform civil code which sought to ensure gender equality in the laws of inheritance and marriage i think this talked a little bit and i was thinking the one law one state one law like all of india should have one law there shouldn't be because your religion or because of this or that you shouldn't have separate laws everybody should you marry one wife or you this these are the laws and everybody no matter caste color creed religion everybody follows these laws and i know it's not completely like that right now but that was something too that he was trying to um put into effect yeah no wonder people think of him as the father of india i mean he's done so many great things and we would love to learn more about him and what he's done and i hope yeah. that one day my school will actually show this and learn about him well maybe you'll have to bring it to school if we get to go back after COVID 19 
um, yeah, we need to learn more because looking at Wikipedia gives us a, a glimpse of a few things. Yeah. Um, some of his awards, some of the things that he's done and accomplished. But, you know, if you guys have other videos um, for us to react to, um, send them our way because we would like to learn more. He does seem like he's done some amazing work. Um, yeah. Kind of the basis of the foundation and um, like Sadhguru said, still need to have some work to do but um so i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did and don't forget to subscribe and join the wonderful growing jan family and we'll see you tomorrow